We're back with new details tonight in a case of arson in a home that was the focus of our investigation. The retiree who put her life savings into what she thought would be her dream home, angered by a lack of results. Here's eight on your side investigator, Walt Buteau. At one point, there were three investigations tied to this home, including one involving fires set inside two days after our first report. The arson squad on scene in May on East Caracas after fires were discovered in the garage and in a closet in a back room of this home that's been under construction for years. But now, three months later, this police report states the case is inactive pending any new leads. Homeowner Mary Browning is surprised the case is not solved. It's very disturbing, but it was only so many keys out there. Four, four. And the house was not broken into, so somebody had the key to come in. It seems like an easy case to solve. Seems like it. Say maybe a thousand or more. Browning raised her family as a cake decorator, frosting countless treats and saving her nickels and dimes to build the home that was set on fire in May. Yes, my life savings. She signed this contract in late 2018, agreeing to pay $165,000 to Victoria Hops with an expected move-in date of early 2019. Nearly four years later, Browning is still waiting, and she's disappointed with the work that is done, starting with the lopsided slab in the back room. Hops blames the city's permitting process and Browning's requested changes to the plans for the years of delays. You have to have some accountability here yourself, not only the customer. She stopped the construction when she asked for a revision. I didn't stop the construction. Browning blames Hops and has filed a complaint against her with the state contracting board. I'm very angry about it, but some things you have no control over. I really want to move into my home that I paid for and I worked hard for. State investigators arrived the day after the fires to look into Browning's complaint against Hops. The DBPR tells me that investigation is open and ongoing. After our first report, city leaders and others made initial offers to help Browning, but so far, no one has followed through. That's heartbreaking because it's supposed to go to the people in need in East Tampa, and I'm one of them. I'm 70 years old. I don't have any more money saved up, and I really need the help. Browning is not sure how much it will cost to finish the home, which still needs a kitchen, flooring, and electrical work. In the News Center, Walt Buteau, 8 on your side.